Now we're going to go into our low back muscle testing series. Most of the muscles we're going to be testing are going to be part of the sacrospinalis group, which are muscles that go parallel to the spine, sometimes all the way from the bottom to the top, sometimes closer into the spine, sometimes further out. We're also going to include the psoas muscles in this group, which could be considered either hip muscles or low back muscles, but because they attach to the lumbar spine and because of the fact that it makes a nice session to go through all the low back muscles, including the psoases, we're going to include the psoas major and the psoas minor with the low back group. The first one we're going to do, though, is part of the sacrospinalis, and it's called the inner transversarii lumborum. You may recall that we did some inner transversarii muscles when we were in the cervical or neck region. Now we're going to be doing the ones that are in the low back. So we're going to have the patient cross the arms like this. So just cross the arms and put your hands on your shoulders. It doesn't matter which one's on top. It's just so that we have something to push on. And then we're going to have her bend from the waist sideways toward me. And we're going to stabilize at the knee because we don't want to push the patient on the floor. When she's bending toward me, we're testing, of course, the ones that are on the right side of the body. When she's bending to the right, if she were bending to the left, we'd be testing the ones on the left. And I'm just going to stabilize here and push to the left. So you push the whole body toward me, and Cecilia's strong. The next one that we're going to do while she's still in a seated position is we're going to have her swing her legs toward me, or I'm sorry, toward the foot of the table while remaining seated. And if we're going to test the one on the right, we're going to turn that same side muscle, the same side foot on the side we're testing underneath the opposite foot. So with this, it's really important that the patient's either barefoot or just has socks on because shoes a lot of times won't allow this kind of a positioning of the feet. And this makes a big difference if we can get this uh, foot tucked underneath the other one. Next, we're going to bring the arms back to the cross position. And we're going to turn away from the side being tested. So we're turning the foot on the side being tested underneath the one opposite. And then we're going to turn the upper body toward, away from the side being tested. So she's turning to the left so we can test the one on the right. We're going to go back 30 degrees. Now, right now we're 90 degrees. 30 degrees would be a third of the way down. So we go about this far. That's our starting position. We're going to brace uh, the thighs. I'll push backward. Cecilia, you push upward toward me like you're going to try to stay seated. That's the psoas minor. It looks very similar to one of the rectus abdominis ones. We'll make that dis distinction later. With that, there's no foot turn on this particular one, and the angle is slightly different. Now, for the rest of the muscles that we're going to do in the low back, the patient will be lying on the back. So you can just go all the way down and relax, legs parallel to the table. And it's good to make sure that unless you're purposely wanting to bring the legs to the side, you keep the patient centered on the table. On this table, which is fairly narrow, that's easy. But a lot of times, patients will bring the legs off to the side thinking that they're straight because they don't know what straight feels like. The next ones we're going to test are psoas majors. We just tested the psoas minor. Some people call it the iliopsoas. Some call it the psoas. And the psoas major has three divisions, lumbar, thoracic, and diaphragmatic. In all cases, on the side we're testing, we're going to bring the leg on that side about 30 degrees off the midline of the body. So it's going to be about that far toward me. For the lumbar division, then, we're going to bring the leg straight up in the air 45 degrees. So that's halfway between horizontal and vertical. And we turn the foot all the way out. And then what I do is I stabilize the opposite hip. So I'm right around the hip crease and around this anterior superior iliac spine. And in this situation, I'm going straight toward the floor 
So Cecilia, you push your foot toward the ceiling while I go down. That's the psoas major, major lumbar division. We go down about halfway. I'm gonna push down again while she goes up. That's the thoracic division. And then just barely off the table, maybe five degrees, I push toward the table while she goes up. And that's the diaphragmatic division. It's actually a small division of the psoas major that attaches to the diaphragm muscle under the rib cage. The rest of the low back muscles we're testing are all going to be part of the sacrospinalis group. The first one we're going to test is the quadratus lumborum costal division. And in this case, I'm going to test them as I would test them in the office. I'm going to stand on the side opposite the side that I'm testing, brace the pelvis, and I'll be sliding the legs across the table toward me. This is another reason why you don't want the patients to have shoes on because they can gain traction by digging their heels into the table. You want to make sure they're not doing that. So for this, you want to, for any of these, you're going to bring the feet together so the feet and legs ideally should be touching with some larger patients that may not be completely possible. Then we're going to bring the two legs together as a unit, two degrees, which is negligible, off-center toward the side being tested and away from you, the doctor. So we're going about two degrees. That's not very much. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have the patient arch the back slightly. The lumbar is just a little off the table. And then with a contact above the an ankle, or the side of the ankle, bracing the pelvis, I'm going to try to pull her legs toward me while she pulls away toward the camera. So you pull away from me, I'll pull toward, and that one's very strong. Next we're going to do the quadratus lumborum spinal division. Very similar, but instead of it being two degrees deviation, it's going to be 10. So it's a little more noticeable but not a giant pull, 10 degrees off the midline. And instead of having the patient arch the back like this, we're going to have her press the back down toward the table a little bit to straighten the spine a bit and pull both legs away from me. Very good. From the same angle, we're going to take the outer foot, outer to me, uh, which is going to be on the side being tested, and we're going to rotate that foot out. Again, we want to keep the feet and thighs together. 10 degree angle with the legs away from the doctor doing the testing. This foot will be pointing upward. This foot will be pointing outward. And this is the multifidus lumbosacral division. So pull both legs away from me. Very good. And then all we're going to do is rotate the ankle so that, again, the outer leg on the side being tested is underneath the one that's toward me. This is the iliocostalis. Again, I brace at the pelvis. Pull away from me, please. Very good. Then we're going to have both feet pointing up again. We're going to test the rotatorius lumborum because we're going to be rotating the lumbars. We're going to raise this hip slightly off the table and then have her pull both legs away from me. So we're testing her left side. It's always on the side opposite the one that I'm pulling from. That's rotatorius lumborum, same 10 degree angle. The final one in this series is the longissimus lumborum and for that, we need a 20 degree angle. If you have a wide table, you can just move the feet further to the side. But if you have a narrow table like this one, what we'll do is we're going to bring her pelvis a little bit toward the edge of the table, toward me, the one doing the testing. Then we can easily get the 20 degree angle. Feet together. Keep the feet together. Pull both legs away from me. And that's longissimus lumborum, 
and that's the whole group that we call the low back group in this body of work. Next, we'll do the pelvic muscles.